he got away. And that's salmon fishing, even for the greatest of salmon anglers. And here we have the greatest, Lee Wolf, master of the cast and fly, and grand master of Salar, the leaper, the incomparable Atlantic salmon. With his guide, Pearlie Palmer, Lee is cruising one of Canada's finest salmon streams, the Miramichi River in New Brunswick. It is early autumn, when the rise and fall of the water provide all the variety a deep-dyed angler and an outdoorsman seeks when he heads for the wilderness. For centuries, the salmon used to be the fish of millionaires and poachers. In Norway, Scotland, England, and Spain, he ruled the angler's roost. And here's a sample of why this was so. He's taking the fly. He's got it. This is the most acrobatic freshwater fish in the whole book. That's why they call him Salmo Salar, the leaper. The light but steady pressure of the rod, the pull of the current, and his own explosive energy have beaten him. The salmon sport seldom fights a salmon. He uses light tackle, a gentle touch, and infinite patience. Pearlie's getting the net ready. Now, here is a Salmo Salar, fresh out of the Miramichi, about 12 pounds of aquatic dynamite. Time, however, for a change. Wolf has been fishing with normal salmon tackle, a nine-foot rod weighing about six ounces. Now he's got something else up this aluminum sleeve. It's a six-foot toothpick of plastic and split bamboo. It weighs a mere ounce and three quarters. If Pearlie looks a bit skeptical that a little stick like this will handle a 10 or 15 pound fish, he's certainly within his rights. Still, Lee gets that line out there 60, 70 feet, just as if he had a long husky rod. Look how that fly floats down with the grace of a dandelion seed. Here's a client, and here's the show. That real scream. Then the fish gives a little slack, and he jumps again. But by just reeling when he has slack, letting her rip, 